All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is perhaps a little late in the era. This is a 1994 GMC truck. And I know you're thinking, ah, oh, these aren't too unusual. These aren't too uncommon. But this one, in addition to being a regular cab and a step side, also has a factory 350 and a factory manual transmission. So it's really something of a unicorn and a truck of which I am particularly enamored. And as the owner has decided to part with it, I'm gonna take a quick test drive while I still can. The center of the magnificent interior of this car, the shift lever. And it's basically stock. We have the fa uh, an aftermarket stereo, but otherwise it's more or less as it left the factory. We've got the pleated velour upholstery with fold down armrest. Factory steering wheel and full instruments. Here's the exciting part. 350 cubic inch throttle body injected V8. Uh, a lot of these trucks when they had a manual transmission were equipped with the V6, but this one is in fact a 350. And uh, to remove any doubt for those of you who may have it, we still have the factory sticker here on the radiator shroud that indicates that this truck was indeed fitted with a 5.7 liter engine. So I'm looking forward to the test drive. This should be a lot of fun. All right, so here we are ready to take the uh, muscle truck for a spin around the block. And uh, these fourth generation C10 pickups have a real place in my heart because one of the first vehicles I drove was one of them. It was not blessed with a five-speed transmission, which given the state of my driving skills when I was 17 years old was probably a good thing. Let's uh, see how she goes. Clutch is very heavy. It feels like it's a spring clutch rather than a hydraulic setup, which would figure for a truck, especially Chevrolet. Steering's nice and light though. It's this old GM turn signal switch, the one that kind of feels like you're breaking a wine glass stem when you're changing uh, directions, but that's okay as long as it works, right? It's a truck, it's, it's a tool, it's not a Cadillac. And it has the very malaise era shift up lights, you know, to try to conserve fuel when you're driving something with 5.7 liters. It's a nice thought. It's a sort of a suggestion of environmental consideration. So uh, let's take her out on a uh, public street and see how she goes at speeds above 20 miles an hour. Nice fluid recirculating ball steering. like a Chevelle, just taller. It was a real pleasure to get reacquainted with a vehicle that I once drove on a regular basis and in fact uh, did a lot of my earliest driving in, uh, the fourth generation C10 truck. Uh, yesterday's example though was fantastic. It was really much more of a muscle truck. I mean, that five speed just makes it. You know, you feel like you are, as I said in the video, you feel like you are driving a Chevelle just taller. I mean, because you've got sort of disconnected fluid recirculating ball steering, a shifter that's like stirring a bucket of coal. But at the same time, she goes and she goes good. You can just feel that meat, the meat of that big 5.7 liter engine is there. Although it kind of runs out of steam around over four and a half grand, but that's okay. By that point, you've done everything you really need to do. And if you need more power and higher revs out of it, let's face it, there's plenty of tuning options available for such a vehicle. Uh, anyway, it was a real pleasure to uh, take it for a drive and I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. Thank you very much and cheers.